Everything that I have been doing, 100% for the people, for the island that I love so much. It is always about the attitude. Yeah. It is always about the law that has been broken, not about individual. Some of them, they consider me as enemy. Yeah. But also on both sides, they consider me as their mama, as their big sister. You don't treat those people like animals, treating them like a criminal. You take the consequences and they accept the consequences. I always pass the message, treat them as a human. Just more Nilu that people think I can solve their problems, but I cannot. I cannot solve everyone's problem. I cannot make everyone happy. But as long as you follow the rules, as long as you stick to the truth, then I'm with you all the way. Because I, me, I would already probably the first one who said like, yeah, screw you, <laughs> like don't like you know don't do this kind of thing. But I was even supporting, and this is why more Nilu when. When Billy Jering was posting about the, you know, because he was he was scared, of course, you know, because, because, because I'm, I'm also a foreigner here, of course, uh, but uh, I I don't know a lot of the things. I don't know what goes on uh, politics or what not. For me, I only started this purely out of heart because, as Indian, I've been judged a lot in my life. I've been in India. I've been to US. It's they see the skin color, they judge you. So for me, I always thought like even when Lieber, he's not here now, but. Uh, when he was here, we sit there and talk like, oh, what is, what are you insecure about? Like, wow, how you feel being alone in 10 years? Uh, being having those talks, I was like, okay, we need to start something that nobody ever talks about this. If we, if somebody can take smile and like learn something by our life experiences, I would love them to have that uh, because nobody ever told us to how to be and we made mistakes and we, we've grown like this. So that's why we started this. Then I'm like, then you see like, okay, it's getting so big so fast. I'm like, I am scared, you know. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk politics because I'm, I don't know anything about it. So that's why I'm like, and also I'm in a different country. I should not say something I should, shouldn't. should If I say and you're, you're, you're in the wrong place, you know. And also, I love these people. The reason I, we started giving uh, like him, inviting him or like, we invited Putu from the studio. We invited like, a guy who makes Iraq, you know, he, he, nobody knows him or like, and I want to invite a guy from like, who cleans the trash because nobody hears these people's stories. The little people no, they can't, they can't go anywhere, speak about it because everybody else is, I want influencer 1 million followers or 2 million followers. I'm like, who cares about these people? I don't care. I don't even talk to them. I see them every day. I don't even talk to them. I like to hang out with this guy. He's, he's genuine. He's down to earth, you know? That, that's that's what our goal is because I feel I'm. He drives me crazy every time he pops <laughs> up. He's like, mm. <laughs> and I always provoke our kesayangan. <laughs> Anyone who give him a spank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she told me she will spank me. When but, <laughs> but we understand each other. Yeah. It's not like Ombo Nilu trying to provoke us to to hate Ketut. No, <laughs> they understand my language. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. It's like sarcasm, right? Yeah, yeah the, the like, Indonesian uh, way. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you understand it. I, and also I want to, uh, I'm, I'm, when I, uh, like I was looking a little bit about you, like when, when you said you're gonna, and I saw today, Oprah Winfrey wears your shoes. It's like so big role model for the whole world. And I'm so proud to know that you, she wears your shoes, which is handmade. How, are you, how do you feel about it? It's a bonus in my life yeah. because uh, for us, our biggest client is the people, the people who work very hard, the people who earn their money, you know, and uh, build their career uh, along the years with me. We grew all together. We started this business 20 years ago. Yes. To be exact. So we are 20 years old uh, this uh, this year. And, Congratulations um, on that. Thank you. <laughs> and... Um, and I started my first job as a cleaner, like we call it office boy or office girl. Yeah. And I start, you know, uh, climb the the career life uh, from there. And uh, and the same the same thing with uh, happened with uh, with with our clients. So we are now about the same age, you know, 47, 48 years old. And and then their daughters becoming our client, their mom 
they were still our client and uh, and all all those big movie star Hollywood Omar Thurman I heard Rehana wears your shoes Julia Roberts yeah. and also uh, <laughs> how do you call it uh, um what is uh, the name again uh, Giselle Bundchen okay and uh, there are lots of them the some big actors also uh, suddenly i forgot all their names you can find them on google <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> they are like the bo- <laughs> they are like the bonuses in my life but yeah. i can spend hours with some clients you know who sell eggs yeah some uh, client who teach in the kindergarten yeah. and then you can see from their eyes and they will tell you monilu remember 15 years ago i was a student and i came to your shop you were cleaning your shoes and i was just there standing like looking at the shoes and you approached me you 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 came to me and you explained about the company that it was not nilu with the same not nilu jelantik yet it was nilu yeah when i ask about that too. yeah it was yeah. The, the the first brand uh, yeah. that name nilu and then a few years later they came as a new graduate and you were the first person that they they they, they told you that i got my first job about nilu yeah. and the first thing i would like to buy with my salary yes, is nilu. the shoes So Nilu Jelantik represent a dream yeah. for Indonesian woman. Yeah. So when we have the lo- royal family as a client, when we have like some you know like a public figure as a client, for me they come along in our life because they appreciate the brand. Yeah. And uh, so when I have some influencer came to our shop, I have 10,000 followers, 5,000 followers, you give me the shoes or I make you viral <laughs> and the star and the girls will be like this, "Here's me." Let me talk to Nilu Jelantik. I, I, I want to know, I want her to know who I am. Okay. Yes, uh okay, you can talk with Mo Nilu, but we are very sure that Mo Nilu will give us back the decision to take. Yeah, but you only the staff. You are not Nilu Jelantik. Yeah, but we've been working with Mo Nilu for 16 years. <laughs> we take decision. <laughs> and they haven't done any homework yet yeah. so when they see our social media <laughs> yeah i think they will run away <laughs> <laughs> there's no shoes yeah. you see almost no shoes in our social media there's always like different kind of posts and when they compare it with the social media because i'm not about follower i'm not yeah. about number i appreciate people who has 10 kesayangan as much as they have 10 million kesayangan if you see people in our circle their minister governors bupati but i follow the people yes most of those people i don't follow them yeah with 20 million 30 million followers i don't follow them but every people who i believe that can contribute to their own people i'll make sure that they are in my radar so when there's a problem in in west java in central java in 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 east java or in indonesia i make sure that i have this person contact number that I can contact directly and make sure that they become solution to their to their people and we are talking about 270 million people so i don't expect them to be our client yes i never really promote the shoes as much as people I say think... that nilu jelantik oh my god she's into politics mm. she's close to this person this person this person <laughs> until today we never receive one penny of the money of the people that we actually obtain by gaining some project or some you know some benefit because we uh we have relationship with uh with the institution never mm. never i don't sell my dignity like that yeah that's, you know my dignity yeah. can cannot be bought by any money in the world because i would like to be fair i'm here today tomorrow the next 20 years the next 30 years until i say goodbye to you or to the earth I still be the same Nilu Jelantik, you know, and maybe I cannot do the maximum for the people, but at least when I'm around, I listen to them, and uh, and we have we we all have the right to have like good leadership, because leading is not about uh, take uh, giving order to people. Leading is about serving people, and that's why I decide that I support. those people who are in the politics because the brand of your clothes the brand of your sandals the food that you eat the coffee that you drink it all involves political decision yeah. and you need somebody to be inside the system and i take that choice even though you get misunderstood yeah 
you know. But when I got misunderstood, I pass back the question. You want to know about my dignity, my life principle, my integrity? You ask the only institution who can give you the answer, which is the tax institution, uh, the minister of finance or anyone, the bank, the director of the bank, <laughs> ask them about Nehru Jalantik. You'll find any information you want to know about me, but don't come in between me and the people. Don't get in my way. Hmm. You know? You know what I mean? Yes. Because like that, I can always be objective. Even though, like the last few days, you know, when I was in Thailand, you know, I got so many attack, you know, from certain people who put me inside the chaos of the fight in some club in Seminyak, that some, you know, some some foreigners had a fight and, you know, it went viral and people attacking me because of that on the name of woman that I don't speak up on the behalf of woman. And and for me, my my reply was very simple. Make a report to the police, fill a report, the same thing that happened to the lady in the ocean oh. where she, she got like, uh, you know, yeah, punched on the punch. yeah. You know, somebody make the post, tag me, I repost. But I will never be, I will never be able to go inside, make my own narration, and saying, "Oh, this is the victim, this is the suspect." I cannot. I was not there. Yeah, yeah. So the only person you can go to is the police because there is a crime involved. Somebody punch a woman. It is so wrong. So if the police didn't reply, they are too busy. They receive too many report. Just send me a WhatsApp. I will call the police chief personally. Bapa, excuse me, Pa. There is a report about this case in the ocean, about this case in the club. Thank you very much for taking care of the people. But you don't judge the police. You don't say the police, yeah, you are not doing your job, blah, blah, blah. You know, if it is not viral, then it's not going to happen. Don't say that. A police is also human. Immigration is also human. Maybe there is only one egg or two eggs that are bad. But the rest, they, they, they want to do their job, you know. Yes. And this is where this is why I'm 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 here. And uh, and when that happened last week, I was with my best friend in Phuket, and we went to the island. You know what? What has been spread on the social media? Make sure you take Nilo Jolantik, the 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 narcoba test. You know the drug test. I was working with shop marijuana shop like on my left and my right. Like the the, the only shop you can find is all that leaf shop. And when you see this post. You just smile, you know. You know what I mean? Because uh, in Thailand, of course, it's legal. You walk on yeah. the street. It's everywhere. It's like pharmacies here or it's like uh, coffee shops, yeah. you know. But someone is provoking, uh -huh. making like uh, trying to, you know, like uh, to to make the like, uh, how do you call it? Mangiring opini public, you know, you call it in Bahasa Indonesia. But I was not even scared, you know. <laughs> like you can do any test on me, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. I pro I'm probably will be drunk of, uh, I don't know, one liter of Arak, you know. <laughs> and what is the point, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I, po I make one post and then in 24 hours, those account is gone. 100,000 followers is gone for nothing, but I'm very sorry. This is when you come with me, trying to make a fight with me without any concrete proof. You're hmm. judging me just because I suggest you to make the report to the police. I, I'm not a judge. I'm, I'm not going to go to that club and meeting the owner or calling Gonzalo. Gonzalo, anyone fighting in your club? No, I'm not going to call Askar Bali or Baladika. They're not going to, uh, they, they will never attack me. They know what Nilo, you know. Don't try to put me in front of those people that, are, that, that, that I love, you know. You know what I mean? Yes. But some people trying to take advantage. Because why? Because some higher people in political situation they can define the the little hole. Ah, Nilu, Nilu relationship probably is not very good enough with foreigners. But they didn't know how good is my relationship with foreigners, you know. But I don't have to, I don't have to, you know, to to explain myself. So at the end of the day, you have your life as a tourist. Enjoy Bali. You want to go somewhere else? You will have me as a, a guide. You need some contacts. Good driver, good uh, homestay, nice restaurants. Difficult to make reservation? You can call Nilu Jalantik. We will make the reservation for you for free in any restaurants you want, in any hotels you want. I'll make sure those people will take good care of you with integrity. But then, when you started doing more than tourism, ask question, ask to Ketut. 
how to become surf, uh, surfing instructor? Is it possible? How many surfing instructor you have in Bali? Do you need more? No, you I don't know? think so. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you need someone who can speak 10 languages. Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Then deal with Katut, you know? As simple as that. And then at the same time, I'll become the, the mediator to the institution because everyone has the right to have a good life in, in Bali, you know? But we cannot make everyone happy if we are not on the same page, you know? Oh. And uh, if you say that the, the government is being corrupted or the institution is being corrupted, bring the proof. Because if you cannot bring the proof, then you become the problem. Oh. You know what I mean? Yes. If you bring the proof, you can post it if you want. <laughs> Tag it. I don't know. Bring the proof, you know? You know what I mean? Yes. That's why, I mean... Like you said, you know, where are we going to bring the Bali in 10 years? Barawa today is not the same Barawa that I live on 20 years ago. 20 yeah. years ago, we live with no electricity in Barawa. We only have Legong Kraton, oh. the only hotels, and some little homestay, and black sand with nothing. So you have to bring your sarung, put it on the tree. That is, how you, that, that is your picnic Spot, place, yeah. spot yeah. in Brawa. You have to jump. There's no stairs. Yeah, okay. So, and then some club came along, some restaurant came along, and the crime came along with it, right? Of course. And um, and for me, we are not against uh, businesses, you know. No. But Brawa can only take so much, you know. We cannot, we cannot cater any like one thousand more unit of apartment. As you see, all the place between. This was a rice field before, only rice field. Yeah. And our home and Pak Komang home is the only two houses in Brawa. If you check the map 20 years ago, that was only us, me and Pak Komang. And uh, so when people say that I don't have any right to speak about Brawa, I can show them my license, you know, like my ID. You know, I have the right to talk about anything in this island because at the end of the day, you also deserve to be happy regardless you are a foreigner regardless you are Balinese and and uh, yeah I will use my voice I will pass along also to expose everyone's voice because every voice matters Katut voice your voice L voice everyone's voice matter and the more of us holding hand you know taking care of Bali that we love, taking care of Bali that we wish to be better in 10 years than today, that is the ideal situation, you know? And uh, and as much as those people spreading like some news that are not true, because I'm always about fact. If you cannot give me the fact, then, you know, yeah. then the, there's no use. And yeah. uh, I will still stand up. I will still be speaking. Maybe this is not going to be the last time. I sit down with Katut and you, maybe in two years, you know, you will invite us again in your new office, you know. New office. <laughs> new office. With some class, dance, Balinese dancing class on the side, Balinese uh, drama performance on the side, the Balinese gong, uh, how do you call it, uh, compound on the side. I don't know. Maybe you'll become Indonesian. I don't know. But as long as we have the same common ground, we, we will always be friends. We will yeah. always like holding hand because... That's life is. That what life is, you know. Pulling and, each other, you know. Yeah. And uh, and when you realize that what that our intention is only for good intention, then we are no longer your enemy, you know. There's no point of taking me as enemy because it's not true, you know. Because I'm fighting against the institution as much as sometimes you despise them, but I'm fighting it my way, you know. I'm fighting it my way in the way that all those good intention from the institution, all those messages, I can pass it to you. Because otherwise, we will never meet the... Same level. The same level. We can never discuss. We can never talk. If you decided the institution is bad, then bad it is. But if you decided to open a bit your heart, that giving them a chance, oh, they actually wants to do their job. Yeah. Open up your heart. Like, I will speak with the chief of immigration, open up an office in Brawa, and they agree. Put some cool uniform, like some 
surfer uniform like uh, some flower uh, shrub from uh, from uh, Bilabong or from Quicksilver, you know, some ha nice cap. And instead of people feeling scared of you, <laughs> you open up an office and you say, "I'm so serious too," you know. I will promote you, but you don't go to every cafe hunting everyone with laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told them, yeah. <laughs> you know, my way, and and they take it seriously. They said, "Yes, Mo, I know you don't do that, but maybe one or or two of you making people scared because those people are calling me. They only <laughs> like making video call with their parents, and suddenly people with uniform come. You know, no, we are not working in this cafe. We are not working, you know, in Indonesia. We are making video call like video conference." Because we decided to do like a like a pilgrim, you know, for one year, you know, doing nothing in Bali, spending money, but we have to be in touch with the family, yeah, yeah, with family with our office in New York, something like that. So making it like as cool as possible. If you say certain village in Bali becoming certain uh, nationality village, if some people really sure about it, open up immigration branch, open up a police branch. But don't put it all in my head, trying to poke me something. Why don't you discuss about that? Why you don't talk about it? Are you scared? Are you scared? I have no proof. I'm not going to go to what, what you call it, a village, yeah. just because hundreds of people trying to poke me. So you know my position. Yes. I'm just about being fairness. Yeah. The first governor already talked about that. Maybe the minister is already talking about that. The first governor talking about it countless times. Ah, oh, there is a village. There is a village. So... The immigration already makes some inspection. Ah, there is no. So put them together, <laughs> confirm the fact. Then I will be in between them. Hi, we're opening up a new office here. Oh. You know what I mean? Exactly. Mm. So the foreigners also have to, some of them who put us not in the very good position, they also need to understand that everything we do, the education that Katut uh, trying to to show, also the news, or also all the how do you call it, the conversation that you presenting to to your audience, they all have the same intention. Good for Bali. Yeah, good for Bali. Mm. Harmony, live in peace. You know, no one no one's want to live in the fight all the time. Yeah. No one's want to be viral and and you know like when we say something, we don't need to be viral. We just want to be heard. Yeah. By both sides, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, and, and this room is, the, is a very good start for all of us. Because I think this is one of my first podcast, podcast in English. And okay. yeah. I'm actually amazed that I actually can speak English. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how do you speak to your husband in Bahasa Indonesia? Uh, in Bahasa and in French. Oh, in French. How you, yeah. So, you learn French. I started working for French company in '96, so 27 years ago. Okay. Yeah, that was. So happened. you can speak four languages, or I can understand, but today I decided only to use one languages, uh, two, which is Bali and Balinese and Indonesian, hmm. and uh, I use my English sometimes when I, I need to, but I always, uh, you know, I know, I know that I have limitation on on my. Uh, Literature uh, ability. Katut speaks very much better English. No, you no, speak no, very no. well. I, I have people. <laughs> uh, Putu is only speaks very less. I have people on the studio where they can speak proper English, but you speak really well. Yeah, yeah. I I can guarantee that. I mean, I, I I don't know who I am, but uh, yeah. Because our daughter uh, she's mixed, so I would like her to be able to remember her roots. Yeah. yeah. So I choose to stay with Balines and Bahasa. So Ines will speak to me in French and Louis will speak to me in English and Bahasa and I reply in Bahasa. And sometimes maybe in English. And uh, I only speak French maybe very seldom with, with Louis or my husband or with my, uh, my parents-in-law. And uh, yeah, I, and, and I, and why I have to do the things that I have to do today. Uh, because like, for example, you know that there are many of uh, diaspora, which is the mixed marriage uh, couple. Mm -hmm. They have children. Like, for example, you married with the Balinese, then you have children. So they're becoming mixed kid, right? Yeah. There are lots of them. And even life is not so fair for them. Yeah. They have yeah. the Balinese face. Yeah. 
But when it when it when it comes to their hometown, they become tourists. Hundred percent, yeah. Hundred percent tourists, and yeah. it it happened with lots of my family. We are mixed family, and it breaks my heart, you know. And the same thing, like for example, I've been going to France back and forth since ninety seven. And I'm always a foreigner in that country. Mm. I always have to go through all those pile of paperwork that sometimes I told my husband, I despise <laughs> France. I will never go back to France. I swear. <laughs> Yesterday, I, I saw you post. Uh, I was sitting like this in front of the those big of the embassy office, and my husband was like, "Please, okay, don't post it, okay? <laughs> don't make it more difficult." I said, "You want me to call the ambassador now?" <laughs> You see what we I have been through, and I didn't. I don't even fight for myself. I'm not trying to contact some people that I know. My first boss in Jakarta is the president of the French Chamber of Commerce. I'm the chief of the foundation that becoming the home of the international school until today. Yeah, and I don't have any special treatment. I still have to go through the security, waiting outside, and it's okay. But It make me sad sometimes, you know. Of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We are still in our country, in Indonesian territory. Like I said to my husband, when I go to the U.S., you know, they give me red carpet. I become like a how do you call it? I got the full scholarship from the American uh, government. I can go to the white, the 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 white uh, the white, white house, office, you know, yeah. meet with the with the minister, with the CIA, with the you call it, you know. And when it comes to the nationality of my daughter, she still. Have double nationality. Here I am. I have a very good relationship with the French government. But 27 years later, here I am, and I'm still not fighting for myself. Maybe I can use some phone number, but I don't want to do it. I want to do it the correct way. So, is it wrong if I expect the same thing from the foreigners no. to do it the correct way? No. You know what I mean? You can call the minister Monil. Of course, I can call everybody, but I don't want to do that because this is the way that I choose the correct way. You know. I rather spending half an hour with the sad pam, you know, not trying to fight for myself, but asking him, "How are you?" Say hard pa, you know, you know what I mean. And on the other side of the road, in Sarina Building, the president is on their way. I promise you, if I started making small letter, tagging some people, it's gonna go viral. But no, I'm enjoying my what happened to me that day, which is yesterday, and. That doesn't make me becoming a bitter person. I'm going to hunt everyone who break the law. No, I just would like everyone to be fair. You go to Thailand, you get, you have to follow the rules. You go to Malaysia, you go to Singapore, you follow the rules. You don't try to do the things that you will not do in your country. Yeah. And this is for your peace of mind, you know, for your peace of mind. If somebody drive like crazy in Bali, no helmet, and then if something happened to them. If for us, like I'm wearing common, right? I'm not trying to show off by wearing helmet, no, because I know my life has only this much remaining of my life, so I don't want to take the risk anymore. Hmm. Maybe twenty years ago, maybe I have long hair, I was pretty, and my God, I don't want to be, you know, you know what I mean? Maybe yes. from seminyak to krobokan, maybe I will not wear my helmet. But today we have a daughter to raise. Yeah. Oh. You know. And but if something happened to me, for example, I wear I'm still wearing a helmet. Something happened to me. I still have my Balinese family performing the ceremonial, the funeral, the ngaben ceremony. What about the foreigners? What about the tourists? You know what happened if they have an accident in Bali? If they fall into someone's house six o'clock in the morning, drunk and dead, those Balinese family have to take care of everything. Meaning what? Meaning if they are not coming, if they didn't have the money that they needed to do this, the macaru ceremony, it means they have to do something, borrowing money from the bank, selling their land, because they cannot just close their eyes. Oh yeah, itu boleh tidak apa-apa kecelakaan. No, they will still have stay in the middle of the road praying with the priest, yeah. and it costs a lot of money. So I'm not trying to compare like. Ya, tapi mau nilu. Tapi di di Bali juga banyak yang melanggar. Uh, people wearing sarung and udang dia melang dia 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 also breaking the law. I have no comments on that. If you have this kind of uniform and you are on the bike 
and not wearing helmet. I will have nothing to say. The police have said have anything to say for you, but not me. If someone as a Muslim, for example, and they pass and they going to the mosque, to the mosque with their uh, uh, you know with their pechi, yeah. I have nothing to say. I pray for everyone to be safe on the road mm. because I'm not the police to judge everyone. But if you have your phone, no helmet, four people on the bike, you know, <laughs> taking selfie, having your phone like that, of course I have things to say. And driving like that, of course yeah. I have things to say. You know what I mean? Yes. It doesn't mean that I'm not I'm not being fair, yeah. but I can only do so much. You know what I mean? And um, Bali is only 180 kilometers from north to south, from east to west. You can basically do the whole Bali maybe in one day, full drive. You know, what do you want Bali to become? Same like your question. In 10 years, is it something that you use as a playground? And when you get bored, you go. You go and jump to else. another island. Yeah. And what about us? We live here. We were born yeah. here. We're going to die here. Don't we also deserve something, you know, something good for our island? Why don't we work hand in hand? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. And, you know, also the video I make, right? It's it's not like I'm trying to tell like, oh, you have to use helmet. You don't know. It's just I just want to tell awareness. That's up to them if they want to follow or <laughs> like, like hear me but i'm not trying to tell like oh yeah you you acting like you're perfect you know using yeah of course i'm i'm not saying that i'm perfect of everything i'm also doing a lot of mistake you know and but the thing is that on my video of course is some people think it's like only a joke but for me myself it's also like a awareness to people so it's it's yeah it's funny for you but not funny for other people you know and that's your own consequence if you if you fall or something or something happened, that's your own consequence. But for me, just to clarify people that what my video is not about that I'm getting, I want to get attention. So people like think like, oh yeah, you're like the, you know, you're like the helmet of, what do you, what do you call it? Like, you the ambassador. ambassador of, no, I'm just trying to tell them like, this is not good. If you want to, that's your own choice again. And of course, for me, why I'm also like, why I'm also against people like driving crazy, arrogant, you know, because I have someone that I love also in my life that I care. And maybe this is not going to happen to me. But what if the person that I love is people because of these people driving with a like taking a selfie and doing these crazy things crash into someone I love? How would I feel? You know, this is why. This is why I make that kind of video. So people understand that this is how I bring myself. I, I cannot bring so much voice, but at least from a funny video that people maybe look and like understand about, you know. There is yeah. always message in um, his in videos. Post and, uh, that that Katut made, you know, like yeah. a very deep message, you know, from how to take care of your trust, you know, and uh, how to, how do you call it, how to behave on the road and, and, and Katut is saying it in such a way that we understand without feeling offended. Yeah. We relate to his story or like, oh my God, I've done that, you know, like, oh my God, you know. And uh, and on the other side, I also have my way to, yeah. you know, to show to people and and maybe some people, they, they will take it wrongly, which is, I, I fully understand, but all we need is communication, right? Yeah. If you take it wrong, then ask. Yes. I, will, I will be yeah. very happy to answer to you. And... Uh, but when it comes to really getting it personal, you know, like uh, putting my husband on the spotlight, you know, like uh. presenting my my husband, uh, like detail and things like that, I have nothing to 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 justify. They simply call the immigration. <laughs> I even say like I don't need the immigration to deport my husband. I will personally take my husband to the airport and deport him myself, bringing him back to his country. But that's not not going to happen. Yeah. It will never happen. And uh, and but this kind of people I understand. This is not purely their intention to put us on the spotlight, but because there are certain uh, hidden agenda that they are planning to put because they don't want Bali to be harmony. They don't want Bali to be in peace. Like Katut is saying, but Nilu, can you please pass a message that we don't hate bully, you know? Oh. We don't try to kick them out from our island, you know? But the opposite. Like, you know, like, we can sit down, like, 
on top. Without yeah. you feeling like, oh my God, in the jalanti go, she's you know like a no. Your heart can read, you know. Your heart can feel yeah. if I'm a threat or if I'm a big sister for you. But big sister say the things that she has to say because she loves you, hmm. you know. I feel so yeah. comfortable sitting here talking. You know to you. what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I was nervous before, but now I, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys, it, it, I'm so comfortable sitting here just listening to her. You know, um, I don't know what what you guys see. Uh, this is what I tell people also. What you see in 30 seconds is not who the person is. You know, you, I can just keep, put on a camera. I'm like, I'm so good person, and say it for 30 seconds. People should not believe that too. You know, you should know the person in real life or you know, watch the full episode or whatever. You so you'll know the whole real the real him. You can't hide for two hours or three hours. You know, it's you'll you people will know looking at it. Like uh, I can yeah. see like when you say. I mean, I'm looking at your eyes. I mean, I can. I th I think when sometimes when you see this person is fake, you can read through it. Yeah. You know. Uh, I think that. That's you read me. <laughs> 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 That's. You know, you know, you know. Also, same with me. You know, like I cannot say that. Oh, this person is bad. I'm. Of course, you. You know, people always judging. You know, but if I'm in a room with someone and that person have a good vibe and is pure, I can feel it. Yeah. And that's why I'm like sitting here. I'm not talking so much, but I get inspiration from it. You know, I get inspiration from this talk. You know, like how, yeah. And this is something I I want I also a knowledge for me that I never had like this kind of conversation with someone, you know. Even with my own mom, I don't think I'd like talk that deeply. And now listening to someone who is like for me is like a mentor, you know, sitting here listening and also even she talk about me. This is like you know this is like the person that I uh, that got me inspired talking about me. This is like something like I don't know. I should cry or I should like laugh and like smile and be happy, you know. But yeah, I just feel like uh, today for me sitting with you, of course, and what Nilo, you know, of course, we both were like really nervous from yesterday already. <laughs> what are we going to say? You it know, like, oh, out, <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, I'm like, I don't, I like, I don't never seen what Nilo before, I, like in the real life, but I know that she has a good heart. And then we can talk with her about anything. You know, it's not going to offend anyone or, you know, it's we're talking about everything is purely and honest and no uh, fake, fake. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. One day, I wish you spread your wings, the same with Katut. You will make a content, for example, and we probably can go from one village to another village, you know, like... Uh, TJ goes to Buleleng. Yeah. TJ oh, and Ketut, would be cool. uh, you know, uh, like make Nusa Lembongan or Penida or Cheningan your home for one day or two days or also go to his hometown, go to our hometown in Batur or in Buleleng. And, and, and like you said, you will talk to the salt farmer. Yeah, I would love talk to. Talk to yeah. the, you know, like uh, the, the coffee plantation guy and, and, and people whose voice they they will never imagine that they will be heard that they actually they yeah. they will have a chance to speak in front of the camera like yeah. oh terima kasih mr pj <laughs> you know sudah yeah? yeah thanks to you my coffee before i only can sell like 10 kilo uh, per day now i sell one ton you know in one month i mean how beautiful is that you know and uh, and of course you're not making money out of it from from your content and but of course, at the end of the day, of course, our dream is like, why yeah. don't we do something together? You do something together. I'll become your big sister. No money involved. But my job is to say, collaboration, KTJ, Ketut and TJ Coffee or something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we, we actually talked yesterday about, uh, because he asked me like, oh, what should we do for Scoopy? And actually today... He drives Scoopy, you know? Yeah, I drive, I drive Scoopy. So you know Scoopy. I don't drive Scoopy. <laughs> but actually today, when we when I hear she's talking about what you should do, actually that's like, that's like, it's, it's like, it, it should, like, you know what I mean? It could be a good thing. You know, you, we don't have to sit here in this room. We can go outside and meet so many people in Bali. And like you said, how can I 
uh, do something for Bali. You know, doing something in Bali, like, yeah, like, for example, go to a, a village or a small village, talk with people. This is already like, you're kind of like promoting Bali without even have so many highlight and and like so many things. You can promote Bali, you can make, you can, uh, how you say, you can uh, support people, the local, maybe like, like what Nilo just said, like go around to Nusa Penida or anywhere. So, you know. If I cannot come with you, for example, guys, if you travel together, if I cannot come with you, you just have to tag me uh. and I will for sure that I will make that post the first post of the day, you know, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, so. Hey, Moni, lo pro bule sekarang. Woy, Moni, lo sekarang sayang sama bule. Yeah, no, uh, uh, I, 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 we started recording outside. Uh, we did a couple of episodes now. Because I don't have the one camp. in the car is good. Yes, yeah, uh, uh, well, I, I think he's it's his car, his idea, and uh, one of my friend has camera. He he helped me to record it. I wanted to do this also outside, but uh, I did post that post thing that, that video in the car because the guy is explaining about how to start a business start in start Bali. A business in, in yeah, Bali. because I, I I actually it was Anga's idea. His friend is like you should bring on some business guy who's a bule who's doing rightly. To invite on the podcast so i'm like okay why not this guy he started he's been here for like 20 years so he started this and so i'm like i should invite him and talk about business here and i did touch everything of his life and asked he can't cover everything in one hour um so i thought that should be like little a uh, first step for somebody who's seeing coming here could and use there'll be more to it you know then you can cover like different industry for example like a healthcare industry sports industry, like wellness industry, because when people think that I'm against them, I'm actually embracing them, you know, yeah. like trying to make them part of our community. Let's say, for example, if someone is a doctor and she said, oh, okay, I'm going to perform uh, this, uh, uh, how do you call it, this um, uh, service for three days in Brawa, for example. Yeah. Instead of putting them on the spotlight and attacking them, judging them that they have no license, I invite them. I said, I would like to register myself, maybe do some facial or something like that. And at the same time, would you be able to come to my class so I can introduce to Kesayangan how to run a business in healthcare industry? And of course, most of those people, they're gone. <laughs> they disappear from the earth. They block me. They report me. They they trying to, you know, like um, diminish our account. Uh, what did they do wrong? I invite you to my class. You know, if you are a travel agent, for example, you you offer your services as a travel agent, photographer, uh, inspiration uh, speaker, motivator, and then a model, and then a driver, and then the yoga teacher, Kundalini teacher. I mean, you have like eight profession. So of course, I'm very inspired by these people. Can you come to my class so I can promote you? You know what happened? They all blocked me. <laughs> so there is another account. I mean, what I don't understand is, are you not gonna get away just by blocking you? I mean, you can find <laughs> you can find her using different account. I'm like, <laughs> if you want to, you can. You know. You know what I mean? And and then the the some people like I don't know how many of them they connect our account with Moscow Chabang Bali. Okay. Okay. I, I, I never followed it. I heard yesterday Marco mentioned about it because yeah, uh, they, Moscow, yeah. Moscow Chabang Bali, right? Moscow Chabang Bali and, and lots of people, I don't know who they are, they think that Moscow Chabang Bali is me. Even the institution can be met. <laughs> the admin <laughs> board, the institution, the, even the, you know. I said, what would you like to ask? Just DM. Yeah. DM the person, they will answer. Television, radio, media. When we think about Moscow Chabang Bali, we think about what Nilo, but different way. Because you always the, invite the people who you think, like promoting their work, yeah. you don't judge them. And Moscow Chabang Bali, they are pro they're actually promoting those business in a funny way. You know? Yeah, in a way that oh, this is a business. People say, oh, you I know? can get it. And, uh, and even... I mean, these kind of people, 
they create that kind of account or this, their frustration, you know. If you are a photographer, if you want to, you know, to work as photographer, and at the same time you perform as a chef, a model, an agent, all this uh, kind of profession, at least be legit, you know. And, and they get a lot of attack too, and we get a lot of attack too. But I always, always explain to everybody who asks me, Moscow Cabang Bali is not in Lujalantik, but I support them. I also advise them, please, when you post something, make sure you don't like, you know, like sounds like you're attacking everybody, you know. Yeah. Make sure people understand that what you mean is, you know, you're trying to present the world that is fair for everybody. Because at the end of the day, it sounds that I attack one nationality, you attack one nationality, but the difference is my face is everywhere. Nilo Jelantik, people know where I live, yeah. people know where my family, people can destroy my business. What about Moscow Cabang Bali? Yeah. You know? Nobody will reveal the identity, you know? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And and for me, I thank him for, you know, for like supporting the island or the country the way uh, he's doing it or even Bali metaphors or even another he is uh, he, he, okay you know what yeah. I mean and 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 the and the founder will be like hi the queen you know like uh, I open his account and I don't find like I don't find it like he he's insulting us you know yeah. and um, but you will you will always you will always find some people that actually misunderstood you and we have to s <laughs> how do you call it in english like straighten it up you know like yeah 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 you know like straighten the line yeah yeah straighten the line and say it once for all because yeah. i will not repeat myself yeah. for the second time you know yeah and uh i think it would feel my frustration yeah uh, i do too you know? <laughs> i do i always say <laughs> not only him yeah. i do too you know? and i'm sure you understand that you love bali yeah i love bali Ketut love bali and I think after two hours of our conversation, we want best for Bali. Yes, yeah. you know, for the foreigners, for Indonesian, for the Balinese, you know, and uh, Bali can take only so much, you know. Yeah. And uh, being in Bali doesn't give you the right to destroy it. You Do know? whatever you want. Do can. whatever you yeah. want, and yeah. and we are here to remind you because we care. Because as much as you want the Bali to be your home, you want it to be destroyed? No. Okay, so don't climb the holy tree naked. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? I as think, simple yeah. as that. You know what I mean? Not because we're wanting to look for the picture. Oh my God, what is viral today? No. Yeah. Nothing was viral until it landed on Nilu Jalantik page, you know. But I'm not going to poke my friend. Can you please post it? Can you please post it? No. I don't want to put my friend position the same like us, like, uh, you know, to be hated by some people. But he will do it his way. You know, he will do it his way. And, uh, and, and, and the message are actually the same. You know what I mean? And my life span is limited. <laughs> Everybody's. Yeah, everybody's, oh, but yeah. uh, I think mine is almost double than you. So, no, no, it's, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you could know what I, mean? To, I could go tomorrow, who knows, right? So you, know you never I mean? know what's going to happen to And anyone. I would like to leave Bali as a better place for you, for Katut, for your children, and, and, and without any hidden agenda. Yeah. Oh. But if I have to go through all those small roads with no light, dark, I will do it because I know there will be so many silent prayer that will be passed for me. We wish more Nilu to be to be healthy. We wish more Nilu, and there are so many like the hand that you don't see, you know. Yeah. Even from the foreigner themselves, because hey, we hate more Nilu, but when we meet more Nilu, all we can feel is uh, the teary eyes, and we hug her because she knows she knows that she's doing it for our you know for our better life. She knows that she doesn't want us to leave the country. There are 3,000 of us, like, you know, like uh, going to, to Phuket, you know. She will fight for us. And I don't have to say everything that I, I've done so far, but the people that I met along the way, their heart, their words, you know, their prayers, and uh, it's, it's more than enough for me. And social media is 
it's for me it's a bonus for me to to be able to to pass everyone's message you know and it doesn't have to be my own message and uh, anyone anyone i mean that's why you will see like the sometimes there are hundred stories that i repost you know anyone <laughs> selling dupa selling motorbike uh, <laughs> selling houses butuh uang cepat you know and <laughs> any post even we have some kesayangan that is that are foreigners you know like uh for uh, the who in the world, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Christiansen, a uh, bule bolang, <laughs> you name it, you know. When they make a post, they come, they arrive in our notification. Like yeah. I will just repost them with no condition at all. Any message is a message. Yeah. Even the, if the message sometimes is you know like uh, pointing at me, I'm okay. Yeah. You know, I'm okay, and uh, uh, as long as you know we can. We can sit down comfortably and, sit and talk and like yeah, yeah understand yeah. each other yeah understand each other maybe yeah. one day we will all meet up you know in Bali Banjar in in uh, Tibu Benang or in Banjar Berawa and you know have a cup of coffee and and it is at the end of the day we are happy because uh, we are doing it in the way that makes us proud you know what yeah. I mean mm. like uh, like Kutut say you know you don't have to hide you don't have to run away you know. If you're doing it the right way and it is for the for the for the goodness of the of your heart, you're not doing it for Bali. You're doing it because you are a good person. Yeah. That is the most important. I'm doing it. I'm not doing it for you guys. I'm not buying you one kilo of rice and make and that suddenly make me a hero. No, I'm doing it because I'm a good person and it make me feel good because I'm you know by being kind it make, makes me feel good. You know what I mean? And. Yeah. Uh, Every yeah. message you can pass it to all your friends. I will pass them with no condition. Oh, I hate you, Mbonilu. Please, you know, <laughs> I will pass you. No problem. <laughs> I'm not going to add the the salt on the on some wound, you know. Yeah. I let the people to, you know, yeah. it's like a soap opera, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's story has to be heard. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> no. is, is there anything you like to ask? No, I think for me, is this is like, yeah, this this talk is already giving me a lot of uh, knowledge also, you know, and I just uh, so grateful to be here again, you know, with Botnilo and with you. And, you know, yes, of course, there's always people love you and always also people will hate, hate you. you for sure. But this means that if people hate you, this means someone is also care about you and they want to get to know you. And... Yeah, again, I just want to say thank you so much for the opportunity with TJ and Botnilo. And uh, hope that Bali will become a better place for us, for the tourists. And uh, Botnilo always also healthy and you also healthy. And we all success, you know, success means not like you will become rich, but success of, of uh, yeah, whatever you do in life that you really love to do. There's always yeah. something meaningful we do every day. Yeah. yeah. You know, and there's no money in the world can <laughs> can buy the happiness. No. Can yeah. buy that kind of happiness, yeah. and uh, of course, it's not going to be uh, all roses. And you know, yeah. <laughs> it's like you have a garden. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot expect to everything to bloom. Yeah. yeah to bloom uh, every time, you know. But yeah. when you have someone else help you water the garden, and then when you are not around, somebody else like a tooth. Okay, TJ. Go and raise for your dream. I will water your garden. That is the ideal, ideal situation. And uh, one hate is too much, you know. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. And and I really hope one day we will meet up again. And no, I I was thinking uh, next if we do episode whenever you free, we could do outside yeah. the episode because I, uh, I I don't have the equipment, but I'm thinking of buying them because I feel like I need to be out there more than here. I can't ask for help every time I need. And also, it's like somebody can help you once and twice, and you can't expect to get help from them all the time. And also, I'm not a guy who asks for help. You know, I, if I can do it, I'll do that it. That would be very cute if you make a ha, kind of like collaboration. It would be so cute. You know, my <laughs> like, God, I will, like, I will have one more person to put. <laughs> DJ, <laughs> it's gonna DJ. be the new Kumar and Patel. <laughs> Kumar and Harold. Yeah, yeah, Kumar and Harold. Kumar and Patel were both dark enough, you know. <laughs> KJ and TJ. Kita jumpling and TJ. Um, okay. Yeah. Is there anything you want to tell people? Yeah. 
anything I mean oh. in bahasa Indonesia or anything you want. Terima kasih banyak atas waktu dan kesempatan yang diberikan oleh Scoopy Gang, oleh TJ dan juga uh, opportunity hari ini Mbak Nilu bisa bertemu dengan idolanya Mbak Nilu <laughs> yaitu Ketut Jumpling, <laughs> North Side Story yang juga adalah seorang Surfing instructor yang super keren. Jadi kalau kalian mau belajar surfing, <laughs> langsung follow akun beliau. Nanti diajarin surfing sampai pinter. <laughs> Senang sekali bisa bertemu dengan dua anak muda yang membuka rumah mereka untuk kita masyarakat Bali uh, juga memiliki wadah untuk bicara. So for us also as a Balinese also have a, a platform to to say hello and also to pass our point of view so every message is a message bad message good message and uh, and you cannot you cannot do everything for for everyone but you can only you but you can do something for someone and 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 this is what i been doing we do our best for the better of bali without having to discriminate the people. So for Bali people, whoever you are from Bali, from Java, from Sumatra, from any other island, and also uh, from any other country, as long as you follow the rules, as long as you love this island with all your heart, and you are willing to make Bali better place after you arrive here, we are always here to support you. and. We'll do anything in our power to to support you. And uh, once again, thank you, TJ, for the opportunity. It is a nice occasion to have our voice heard. And uh, at the end of the day, your audience will will tell, okay, from this conversation. But my intention always the same. You know, fairness for everyone and. Uh, And of course, I wish you all the very best. I'm looking forward for TJ and 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 and, and KJ to jumping to travel Bali, to travel beyond Bali, and to pass the message to the world that there are 1,000 soto in Bali. <laughs> they will and they will try every one of them. You know, okay. there are 100 kind of rice in, in in Java, and they will be the one. They are, they will be the one who try them out and 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 and, and, and to spread their wings. Uh, and also, of course, at the end of the day, their stage is your stage. So, tunggu. Kada tangan ketut jumpling dan <laughs> dan tersayang jumpling di desa-desa kalian. Terima kasih, Om okay. Santi, 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 Om. Uh, Om Madu Suksama for being here. Um, I really appreciate you taking your really like you should be giving to someone who is really important, and then you gave it to me. I, that makes me important too. Um, I'm so happy you're being here. I hope you get successful. And I hope in any way I can help. I'm always there to help. Thank you so much. Uh, and also, if any time you want to be a, like, want to be on it, and you want to be, uh, put your, talk talk to people, you can always come. You just text me, TJ. I want to talk tomorrow. I'm there. No, thank you. Um, if anything I need, I'll probably ask. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need a new shoes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's very really cheaper than his. Can I see your side? <laughs> oh. Cheap sandal. I wear sandal sandal jepit too. Yeah. Sandal yeah. is jepit. Is, sandal jepit. Yeah. Is, yeah. So <laughs> all the you. very best, ketut sayang, all the very nah, best. Terima kasih banyak. Selalu menginspirasi no. dengan konten kontenmu. Terima kasih. Sudah. Terima kasih banyak memberikan warna warna yang Uh, yang kami perlukan, yang kami butuhkan, dan juga untuk TJ, you speak bahasa? Uh, sedikit. Sudah. I can understand untuk means for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I went to like ten classes. Then it's it's ba it's Changu in Barawa, you know. People telling me to get out of Changu. I understand <laughs> it, uh, but uh, when you hear people trying to learn from you, my friends uh, like a go go coffee or lunch or dinner. I speak to uh, people there. 
and they're like my friends and they want to learn english from me and they don't want to teach me english <laughs> they they teach me bahasa indonesia unwanted words you know oh my god okay. <laughs> i'm like okay uh, but i do uh, i'm trying to understand a little bit because i mean it's better for me if i travel north side uh, i should be able to understand them at least if i if i can speak um but in future i hope in a year i can properly talk to people and make jokes like the last voice you know uh, that's that's what my goal so far yeah your next content will be putting up all those content creators the indonesian the balinese you too will be hosting like you know we also have some like content creator like but they are u- using it different way you know they yeah. they are like performing as a dancer they are performing so maybe your ne- next uh, next video will be uh, about them and with them and uh, i i want to be, i reached out to most of the like the famous people here or like uh, i reached out to the people i mean I, as ask him any person i see you want to be on the podcast there is nothing like okay are you famous or, or you you are this person or that person i feel like everybody has story I, I, he's like he's like you're going to ask everybody you want to be on a podcast i'm like yes bro <laughs> <laughs> so I, i for me i want everybody to listen because sometimes you don't know the person who has less accomplishment in their life whatever they've been through some person in the world can learn something from it yeah everyone matter like yeah. i said you know like you said there is no good message yeah. or bad message yeah. you know yeah. so that's 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 cool so far yeah Thank you so much again for the opportunity. I will say goodbye for now. Yeah, uh, thank you. I'm um, we probably see you again hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't mind, can we take a photo? Oh, uh. we can take a photo outside the okay. studio. Yeah, yeah, because we usually that's our spot we take okay. photo outside yeah. Well, ya saya mau izin foto ya. Oh yeah, 100 euro. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Make it 300. <laughs> This is my last night with you Hold me like I'm more than just a friend Give me a memory I can use Take me by the hand while we do What lovers do Let us